Club 33, not to be mistaken with Club Cool, which was a club where you got to try a bunch of different pops from around the world, and it had the stickiest floor imaginable. Club 33 is a private exclusive club at the Disney parks. You can't book reservations, you can't show up and just wait to get into the club, and the only way you can get in is if you know somebody in the club or Disney decides that you're worthy enough to become a member. So what is this super exclusive membership club? Well, it all started with Walt Disney. He started the club so his friends and investors had a special place to hang out and have a quiet meal away from the commotion of Disneyland. I think Walt was really kissing up to the investors so he could get more money for the theme parks, and I don't blame him. You gotta work with what you got, Walt. Walt got this idea from the 1964 World's Fair. He attended the fair and saw that the fair had set up exclusive clubs for the elite to lounge and do business in, and they were very popular. Walt loved the idea and wanted to replicate this in his own park. Unfortunately, Walt never got to experience Club 33 because it opened up six months after his passing, opening on June 15th, 1967. Walt would have been proud though because the club has expanded to three other parks yet still remained as exclusive and alluring as he planned. With social media displaying anything and everything people can snap a picture or a video of, Disney has tried to keep this club as secretive as when it started. So they've banned phones and recording devices in some parts of the club. Club 33 in Disneyland is the OG. It's located in Norland Square on 33 Royal Street. You'll know when you've arrived when you see a gray door and a 33 beside it. The name, Club 33, doesn't have a true origin story, but like a few. Many believe it's named after the 33 original investors of Disneyland, while others think 33 was the number of yeah votes to continue the club's construction after Walt's death. A little dark. And another one is 33 Ducks, which they had to pour concrete over because they wouldn't move when they were setting down the foundation. That one is not real. That is awful. Gosh, that's so bad. I personally think it's a combo of the investors and the address, 33 Royal Street. Now there's also a club in each of the parks in Florida which have been opened the most recent, and then a club in Tokyo, and then a club in Shanghai. Now how does someone get into the club and how much does this membership cost? It's probably like $500, $600? No, uh, it's around $25,000 to join the club, and then every year if you wanna keep your membership, it's either 10 to $15,000 a year. It's a lot. It's rumored that there's a 10 to 18 year wait list to become a member. It's that I won't drink ice mountain water ever again type of money. I'm not gonna pick up that penny off the ground, I have too many of those type of money. Once you're a member, you also receive some pretty cool perks, which I think makes up for the cost, even though the membership cost is more than my existence. You'll get a premier passport, which allows you entrance to Disneyland parks and the Disney World parks for free, 50 single day park tickets, access to a private concierge service, fancy and a number of instant fast pass plus reservations which i assume means that you go to a ride and go i want to ride that and a cast member goes okay now disney loves their tiered pricing systems and club 33 has their own tiered membership system so that people can feel more important than the peasants at the low twenty-five thousand dollar entry fee but these tiers have ceased to exist and now it's only platinum memberships and business memberships but just because you're a club 33 member in disneyland does not mean you can just waltz into a Club 33 lounge in Disney World. They'll shoo you away with a nicely embroidered handkerchief that says Club 33, and you're like, ooh, can I have that? And they're like, no, get out of here. Bad. In Disney World, it costs a little bit more. It costs $33,000 to join and $15,000 to keep it. But you get an extra perk. You get five VIP guided tours. Now we've learned what it is, how to get in, and how much you're gonna take out of your kid's college fund to get in, but now let's actually just go inside the club. But before we go inside, you gotta make sure you're dressing well. All right, they have a dress code. Nothing crazy, they understand that you're gonna probably be in the park spending a day, so you're not gonna be wearing a five-piece suit to the park. But shorts are forbidden. Don't even think about wearing your juicy booty shorts to this club. Let's say, juicy boy across the back, wrong club. The food is a high-class meal. I'm not gonna get too far into detail with the food because I just think the other parts of Club 33 are more interesting, but the food has gotten great reviews as one would expect. Think of small plates of food that look confusing and aren't gonna fill you up, and that's fancy food. Now once you walk inside, there's a reception desk and a section of merchandise because it's Disney and you gotta have merch. But it is some of the most exclusive merch, so I'll buy seven. This is what it looks like now, but before its renovation in 2014, it looked like this with red walls and carpeting. I'm not sure which version I like more. The new version is much more open with small French alleyway vibe. I don't know if that really makes sense, but that's my vision. But the old gold railings and red carpet reminds me that this place has history. There used to be two dining rooms. The first one, 
being designed as a Napoleonic French dining room. And if you're like me, I had no idea what Napoleonic meant. So I looked it up. Uh, Napoleonic era is a period in the history of French in Europe, generally classified as including the fourth and final stage of the French Revolution. There you go. So um, it's inspired by the French. But since the update in 2014, it's taken a more contemporary look, but still drawing inspiration from French design. The other dining room was called the Trophy Room, and this one was a lot more laid back with some artifacts on the walls and taxidermy animals. But since the renovation, this was uh, knocked down so the kitchen could be expanded. Now we can't pass up on the trophy room yet because there's something really odd that Walt wanted in the room. So Walt, with his love of animatronics, wanted an animatronic vulture in the dining room to listen in on everyone's conversations. The vulture would listen to guests via microphones hidden around the room. And then a cast member backstage would be listening to all these people's conversations and respond to them through the bird. It didn't last long and the vulture was dismantled because uh, it's kind of creepy, Walt. Uh, yeah, don't do that. I, I see the fun in it, but since people don't know about it, it's like the ultimate eavesdropping and it could turn bad. <laughs> what was added during the renovation was a new lounge called Salon Navu, which I probably butchered very badly. So sorry if you actually know how to say it, but it was themed after Princess and the Frog, which was animated with inspiration from actual New Orleans. And Club 33 is set in the New Orleans section of Disneyland, which was also inspired from New Orleans. Thus, this New Orleans inspired club was re-inspired by a movie set in New Orleans that was animated with inspiration from actual New Orleans. In this lounge, you can enjoy a drink from the bar that was handcrafted from wood, you can listen to the harpsichord being played, and you can just marvel at the detail of this lounge because it's gorgeous. And in Disneyland, this is the only place they used to be able to drink alcohol for a long time. But now since Galaxy's Edge was opened, there's two places that you can consume the devil's liquid. And to round out the tour, there's a balcony that you can walk out on and look over the park and just smile and wave because you're true royalty and you're better than everybody else below. No, but it's actually a really cool view and it's a very iconic view. There's also a lot of celebrities that are part of the club or were just in the club, such as Tom Hanks, Michael Jackson, Jeff Garland, Kevin Klein, Elton John, Christina Aguilera, and maybe even Johnny Depp, and John McCartney. Did I seriously just say John McCartney? I am so sorry, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. And Elton John have played the harpsichord in the lounge. To dine here or even walk around the club is the dream of any diehard Disney fan. And that includes me. I would love to spend a night in the club and just look out over the park. But first, I need to find somebody with a membership because there's no way I can afford that entrance fee anytime soon. And that's Club 33. Now before I go, I just want to say with everything going on with Black Lives Matter and police brutality, there are so many ways that you can help, whether it's donating, protesting, signing petitions, everyone has a voice and everyone should be using it. This is about human rights. Everyone deserves to be treated equally and fairly. I left some links down below if you're able to donate and if you're not, send it to somebody that can donate. That is fantastic as well. And that'll wrap it up for today's video. So if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment down below anything Club 33 related that I forgot to mention in the video, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.